Good day, everybody. We are now here to discuss to you general instructions for the Electoral Board under Common Act Resolution Number 10727. And as your trainers, we are Attorney Jonalyn S. Sabiliano, Provincial Election Supervisor of the Province of Batangas. And I am Attorney Ligia Florentino, Provincial Election Supervisor of Ampanga. For the coverage of our discussion, first, or the part one, would be Election Day. Second, forms, documents, and supplies. And third, final testing and sealing. For the part two of our discussion, we'll be discussing voting matters and the procedures for voting, counting, and transmission. So election day, elections shall be held on May 9, 2022. The casting of votes shall be from 6 o'clock in the morning up to 7 o'clock in the evening on election day. Now the question is, beyond 7 o'clock, can there be voting that would be happening in our polling centers? Yes. Voters who have not yet cast their votes but are within 30 meters in front of the polling place by 7 o'clock in the evening shall be allowed to cast their votes. So what are they going to do, the members of the ED? It shall be the poll clerk who shall promptly prepare a complete list in duplicate containing the names of said voters numbered consecutively. But if I may suggest, go to the last person in the line and already tag that this shall be the last person after which you can write in the name of the said voters who can vote beyond 7 o'clock. The voters listed shall be called aloud to vote by the poll clerk and he or she shall be calling the name of the voter three times in the order in which they are listed. And if the voter does not re respond after three times of calling, he or she or the voter shall no longer be allowed to vote. And the said list shall be attached to the minutes of the electoral board. Place of voting. Where are they going to vote? The place should be the polling place designated by the commission. And the poster indicating the clustered precinct shall be prominently posted near the door. This is CF A3. An additional uh, provision in our GI right now is there shall be no CCTV inside the polling place. What is the reason why there shall be no CCTV? To avoid uh, the possibility of uh, the voters coming in and out to be known by people other than the um, election workers. And there is likewise a voters assistance desk. We have been having this and uh, this time, the reason why we have this because of the pandemic is to avoid gathering or crowding uh, in the posted CBL in the polling places. So who shall man the voters desk? or voters assistance desk. It shall be manned by the PPCRV or in its absence, any accredited citizens arm and they shall be under the supervision and control of the DESO. So what, are they, what information can they get from the voters assistance desk? A voter can ascertain in the said desk their precinct number, their sequence number, and the direction to the polling place where they are supposed to vote. Another question, what if there are no PPCRV or any accredited citizens arm that could man the VAD? It is required under section 51 that the EO that enter, that the EO enter into a MOA with a non-partisan NGO CSO or other organization available in their respective area so that someone would be able to man the voters assistance desk. So what are the forms, documents, and supplies 
that would be distributed to the electoral boards. Supplies and materials for the final testing and sealing. The following are the supplies and materials for the final testing and sealing. Election forms. First, manual election return. Second, minutes of final testing and sealing of VCM, voting, counting, and transmission of votes. There shall be also supply of envelopes for counted test ballots, ERs, and other reports. Envelope for the minutes of final testing and sealing of VCM, voting, counting, and transmission of votes. Additional supply would be the ballot secrecy folder and ball pen. The one who shall get this would be the duly designated member of the EB and the said supplies and forms will be obtained from the office of the election officer. It shall be distributed by the EO in the morning of the day scheduled for the final testing and sealing of the BCM. Verification of forms, documents, and supplies before the treasurer. Before election day, the treasurer shall notify the EBs that the forms, documents, and supplies have been delivered to the municipal city treasurer's office and is ready for verification for completeness. And for this purpose, a duly designated member of the EB shall verify the forms, documents and supplies assigned to their polling place. What are the supplies and materials on election day? The duly designated member of the EB shall obtain the following forms, documents and supplies early in the morning of election day. Unless of course that there's an earlier date that they can uh, get the supplies from the treasurer's office. So, for the election forms, the following are the election forms that would be taken from the municipal treasurer or the city treasurer. The poster indicating the clustered precinct numbers, the official ballots, the paper seal, the certificate of receipt of official ballots, other forms and supplies by the EB, official receipt of election returns, the envelopes for voting and counting that would include an envelope for rejected ballots, half of torn and used official ballot, and the other half of the torn and used official ballot. Election return, envelope for the election return. What are the other envelopes? An envelope for the main SD card, an envelope for the initialization report, audit log, and precinct statistical report. Other forms that would be given by the treasurer's office. A temporary appointment of chairperson, poll clerk, third member, or support staff. And a certificate of challenge or protest and decision of the EB. Oath of voter challenge for illegal, illegal acts and oath of identification of challenge voter. Additional supplies from the treasurer's office would be band paper, ballot secrecy folder, thumbprint taker, plastic seal for the ballot box, indelible stain ink and ball pens. So the duly authorized member of the EB shall carefully check the correctness and quantity of the election forms, documents, and supplies that they have uh, received from the treasurer's office. And said member shall sign the certificate of receipt in three copies to be distributed to the following. First, the original copy to the city municipal treasurer who shall transmit it to the EO and would likewise submit it to the ERSD immediately after election day. The second copy shall be given to the city or municipal treasurer as their file copy and the third copy shall be retained by the electoral board. So other, for, uh, other than the form supplies and materials that will be uh, given by the treasurer's office, there are likewise forms and supplies that we will get from the election officer. What are these? First, the precinct computerized voters list 
duly certified by the ERB, and there are two copies of which. First should be posted outside the polling place, and the other would be used by the EB during voting. The second uh, form that will be taken from the EB, the, from the election officer, would be the election day computerized voters list. Again, duly certified by the ERB. The third that would be given by the uh, election officer would be the copies of appointment and oath of office of the EB and its support staff. Forms to be reproduced when needed. So these are the forms that will be reproduced when needed. First, the temporary appointment of chairperson, poll clerk, or member. Certificate of challenge or protest and decision of the EB can likewise be reproduced. Oath of voter challenge for illegal acts. Oath to identify a challenged voter. So we now go to the final testing and sealing. Under the resolution, the designated time for us to do the final testing and sealing would be from May 2 to 7 of uh, the year 2022, where it, is, uh, it should be done in the designated voting or polling center. So are there requirements before we can conduct the final testing and sealing? Yes, there shall be a posting and a notice of the FTS, FTS, yes. So the notice uh, requirement is that the EO shall notify the EB in writing of the date, time, and place of the FTS of the VCM. As to the posting, notice of the date, time, and place of the FTS for each clustered precinct shall be posted in the following. First, bulletin board of the EO, bulletin board of the city or municipal hall, and at least three conspicuous places in the city or municipality. In posting this um, notices or giving notices of uh, the FTS, the EO shall do so, and the posting must be done not later than three days before the scheduled FTS. And the DESO and support staff are likewise required to be present. So again, uh, the FTS should be conducted in the designated voting or polling center. However, if it cannot be done at the assigned polling place due to security and practical reasons, the EO may conduct the FTS in the nearest voting center but subject to the approval of the provincial election supervisor or the regional election director concerned. And the same requirement is required. That is the notice and posting as uh, done in the original FTS. Procedures of the FTS. So why is FTS being conducted? We are doing this before elections so that we could check the, the, the correctness of uh, the counting that's being done, whether the voting counting machine are working. So how do we do it? Perform FTS according to the VCM technical manual by, first, explain to those present the purpose and procedure of the FTS. And then, we randomly choose 10 voters. And if there are less than 10 voters present during the FTS, any of them may accomplish more than one test ballot to complete the FTS ballots, the 10 FTS ballots. Fourth, they shall be perform the final testing and sealing following the procedure in the VCM manual. So this will be conducted by the EBs, wherein the DESO and the... The desktop shall likewise be present. Fifth, in accomplishing the FTS ballots, only test two test voters can simultaneously accomplish the ballot. And what are they going to do? The, pers the chairperson shall give each person or voter, FTS voter, a ballot inside the ballot secrecy folder. The FTS voter will now accomplish the ballot by fully shading the oval. And after he or she has done so, 
return the accomplished ballot inside the secrecy folder and the marking pen. So after which, it shall be the duty of the chairperson to do the following. First, examine the accomplished ballots. Second, return the accomplished ballots to the voter who shall personally feed the ballot into the VCM. And this procedure shall be done until all the 10 ballots are fed. So after all the 10 ballots have been fed, the chairman shall follow the instruction on the closing of polls, printing of election returns, and shutting down of the VCM on the, based on the VCM manual. The chairman shall likewise instruct the voter to verify the votes on the VVPAT and place the said VVPAT in the envelope for counted ballots. The manual verification of results. The results should be manually verified. And how do we do that? First, retrieve the accomplished FTS ballots from the ballot box and manually count the votes. After which, we accomplish the manual election returns or ERs. The chairperson shall first verify whether there is overvoting. And if there is overvoting, such votes shall not be counted only for that particular position where overvoting happened. And then take the ballots one by one and read the names of candidates voted for and the offices for which they were voted in. This time, it's the poll clerk. The poll clerk shall record on the manual ER the votes as the names voted for each office are read. Record by a vertical line and on the fifth vote, record by a diagonal line crossing the previous four. So in our terms, we call this para. We do that para in the manual ER or election return. The poll clerk shall determine the total number of votes obtained by each candidate after finishing the 10 ballots. The EB shall sign the certification portion of both the manually prepared election return with that of the machine-generated election return. If the results of both election returns are not the same, the EB shall review or reappreciate the ballots to determine the cause of the discrepancy. But if after reappreciation there is still a discrepancy, the EB shall now call on the assigned DESO technical support staff who shall report such incident to the NTSC and the EO concern. And the EB shall record in the minutes all the acts or data required to be entered in their minutes. Minutes and disposition of forms and supplies. After the final testing and sealing, the electoral board shall Submit the, to the EO the following. First, the diagnostic report, the initialization report, the eight copies of the national and local returns, the manual election return, the counted ballots, and the vote receipt. Again, all these reports should be submitted to the election officer. And there are things that should be left inside the polling place or in any secured room in the voting center. And these are the following. The VCM that has been properly sealed and secured inside the VCM box. Also, the external battery shall be uh, left in the polling place. Also, the locked ballot box. These three shall be uh, in the polling place or in any secured room in the voting center. It is not until the morning of May 9, 2022 that all this will be opened by the members of the electoral board. And this should be done in the presence of watchers, if there are any.
So that was a clear presentation. Thank you, Attorney Jo. Thank you. So uh, to proceed with the discussion, we shall now go to with part two, the voting and the procedures for voting, counting, and transmission. So let's start with the voting that this is uh, under Article uh, 6 of the uh, Comelec Resolution 10727. So who may vote? Okay. Um, of course, no, only registered voters no, are allowed to vote. No? So their name should appear in the EDCBL. Okay. And uh, should be uh, in the list. Okay. The EDCBL is the election day certified voters list. Okay. And uh, unless their names are manually crossed out from the uh, list, uh, the following no, no annotations no, should be done by the EO. So first, if the voter has transferred residence to another district, city, or municipality. Second, the voter has died. Third, the voter's registration record was deleted based on APHIS as approved by the ERB. And uh, lastly, the voter has availed the local absentee voting. Okay, so who may vote? Okay, so only registered voter whose name appear in the EDCBL no, are allowed to vote. However, those names who are manually crossed out from the said list with the following annotations, no, uh, of course, they will not be allowed to vote. Okay, so sino po ito? So these are the voters who, are already, uh, who has transferred residence to another jurisdiction. So let's say I am a, a former registered voter of San Fernando City here in Pampanga, but then I transferred there sa Batangas na po, no? So uh, uh, late yung register, uh, late yung transfer ko. Um, so yung pangalan ko ngayon na hindi na tanggal. Uh, kasi late yung notice na pinadala ng EO ng uh, San Fernando City doon sa Batangas, no po, sa EO ng Batangas. Uh, sabihin natin sa... Sisa ng bayan sa Batangas ang gusto mo? Batangas City na, sis. Okay, Batangas City. So doon, no, let's say sa Batangas City po na ako nagparehistro at late na po natanggap ng EO ng San Fernando City ang notice ng EO ng, ng Batangas City that I have already transferred re uh, registration. Uh, so, uh, the EO of San Fernando will have to cross out my name in the certified voters list. Okay? So, that's one. Second, if there is a voter who has died, okay? So, um, there will be instances when the EO is not informed that a voter has died. No? Especially if that happens after registration or the last ERB hearing. So, our last ERB hearing happened last November uh, a 11 no and onwards so um may mga instance na may mga botante po tayo na matay there after until election day okay so hindi po namin malalaman ng mga EOs no o ng COMELEC for that matter that particular voters already died until unless somebody will inform us who should inform us uh first uh, uh if the civil registrar no will not uh, give us or update us uh, the, the records of those who died uh, for the months before election day, uh, the name of that deceased person will still be there. No, it will be still appearing there at the uh, uh, certified voters list. Otherwise, uh, next, uh, if um, the next of kin o kamag-anak no, nung namatay po na botante, no, uh, if they will not be informing us uh, na namatay na po ang kanilang kaanak, uh, by presenting to us the death certificate, no, uh, hindi, po, hindi namin di pa din siya matatanggal doon sa aming listahan. Okay. So, that instance na po, uh, kaya po minsan sinasabi niyo po, patay na to, bakit nandito pa to sa listahan, e wala naman po nagsabi sa amin. Okay. So, uh, if we are then informed, we will be manually uh, crossing that out, the name of the voter. Okay. Kasi, uh, the, Ano po yan? Um, the, 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 this is a uh, voter. His name or her name, no, uh, appearing there at the uh, CBL might be used uh, by, by other uh, persons, no, as uh, flying voters, no po. So, uh, mahirap na po pagbasta ganon. Okay. Then, uh, next, 
no? Ito rin po, uh, tinatanggal din to, they are manually crossed out, okay? Uh, the voter's registration record was deleted based on AFIS, no? As approved by the ERB. What is this AFIS? This is the uh, uh, automatic uh, fingerprint identification huh? Huh? system. Okay. So, that's the AFIS, no? So, dito po, nakikita namin, nako-cross-check namin, if a certain person is uh, registered, uh, halimbawa, again, dito sa San Fernando, no? Tapos, later on, nagparehistro uli doon sa Batangas City. Tapos, nagparehistro uli doon sa Manila, no? So, meron siyang tatlong record, existing record sa Comelec in different places. So, makaka-counter-check o makaka-cross-check namin yon. Why? Kasi may biometrics sa sinasubmit ang mga tao o pag nagpaparehistro. So, with the biometrics, no? Ma malalaman namin po kung multiple uh, registrants siya. So, pag basa ganun po, kinocross out natin yung pangalan po ng uh, multiple registrant. Okay? So, yeah. And then, lastly, if the voter has already availed the local absentee voting. No? So, sino po ito? Who are these people who can avail local absentee voting? Usually, these are the people who will be having election duties or who will be working on election day. No, that they cannot come to their polling place or polling precinct to cast their votes personally. So, uh, there's a specific date for this uh, activity no? para sa local absentee uh, voters. No? So, once uh, na nag-avail na ng local absentee uh, voting, ang uh, isang votante, uh, it will be noted by the EO and uh, his name will be again manually crossed out doon sa CBL, EDCBL. Okay, so let's go to this topic, challenge against illegal voter. Okay, um, there are instances, no, um, meron pong pupunta sa ating pong polling center, no, uh, that could be challenged as illegal voters. Okay, so these are uh, people who are not being registered or they use the name of another person or they suffer from existing disqualification. This is the lookout of the watchers or any other voter inside the voting phase. No? So if they uh, uh, find anybody there no, uh, who intends to vote using uh, or assuming another uh, person's name, no, uh, flying voter po yun. So pwede pong uh, mag-file and challenge uh, the, the watcher or any voter. Okay. So um, this will be processed no by the, by the EBs. Okay. So the EB shall determine the truthfulness of ground for challenge by requiring proof of registration, identity or qualification. Okay. So um, first no we have here yung EDCBL natin, no? Uh, if the identity of the voter is challenged, no, the the EB shall refer to the um, EDCBL. Okay. In the EDCBL, may picture po tayo doon ng butante, may specimen signature po tayo ng butante, and meron po tayong tamperin ng butante po na nandoon. So, iti-check muna po ng ating po nga EB. No? So, the EB shall determine uh, if uh, the uh, uh, the person appearing before them is truly that person in uh, as appear, uh, in the records no, of the EDCBL. Okay. So, if the EB is not uh, satisfied, they can uh, require, no? Uh, proof of uh, documents, no, of proof of identity, uh, identity, no. So yon. So they can ask uh, mga IDs, no po, yung ganyan. Okay. So next we have here another uh, challenge, no. Challenge based on certain illegal acts. Okay. So this time, naman po, if uh, the watcher, let's say, have a uh, prior knowledge or information. No, passed on to him or her no, that a particular person appearing before the EB now uh, who would intend to file or cast his vote no, uh, has received or expect to receive paid or offered or promised to contribute money or anything of value as consideration for his or her vote. So as in, ito pong taong to ay nabayaran sa labas o sinasabing uh, nakatanggap ng pera no, para po iboto yung particular candidate. Okay. And or uh, a, a promise has been made, no, uh, to that person to influence the giving or withholding of any such vote, okay? Or kung hindi man siya na bayaran, mayroong uh, ginawang pangako sa kanya. Let's say, for example, ibotom mo ko, and at the same pag ako na nalo, no, ilalagay kita sa pwesto 
sa munisipyo, ikaw na ang uh, hahawak ng uh, trabaho ng treasurer, kunwari lang po, no, as an example. Okay. And then, lastly, if there was a bet, no? So pinagpustahan po nila, no, on the results, no, of the election. So um, the mere fact na meron pong pustahan na nangyari na, oh, sige, pusta tayo mananalo tong kandidato ko. O pag ito natalo, oh, oh syempre, oh, sa iyo tong ano natin, uh, wager natin, tong pinagpustahan natin. So parang ganoon, no po. So the, these are the three uh, instances or cases that a uh, 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 watcher or any voter for that matter can challenge no? uh, 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 voter uh, or a person appearing uh, before the EB who intends to cast their vote based on certain illegal acts. Okay. So anong gagawin ng EB? So challenger, uh, challenge voter may take an oath before the EB that he has not committed any of the acts alleged in the challenge. So here, meron po tayong form dito, no? Oath of Voter Challenge for Illegal Acts, no? So yan. So under oath po yan, no? So sa EB po siya, manunumpa. I-execute niya po yan ang oath of voters challenge na yan. If he uh, will do this, no? He will be allowed to vote and the challenge will be dismissed. But if the challenge voter refuses, no uh, the challenge will be sustained and he will not be allowed to vote and he will be asked to leave the polling center okay so the polling place okay so hindi po siya pabobotohin so uh, in all instances lahat po ng challenges votes taken and decision or ruling of the EB shall be part of the minutes okay so what are our rules during voting so first, no voters should be entertained or should be accommodated in the order of their arrival in the polling place. That is first come, first serve. Okay. However, there is an exception to this rule, which is no, uh, we have an express claim for persons with this uh, disability, senior citizens, escorted persons deprived of liberty, heavily pregnant women, and indigenous people. So, uh, meron po tayong express lane for the members of uh, uh, the vulnerable sectors as mentioned. Okay. Likewise, there sh uh, the watcher shall, na uh, shall enter the place, uh, shall not enter the place reserved for the voters no? and uh, the EB or mingle or talk with the voters. As you can see here in the picture, this was taken pre-pandemic, no? So, ganito po ang setup. Ang um, ating po mga botante, no? Nandito sila, bumoboto. Ang watchers nandun lang po sa kabilang uh, side, no? So, they have a designated portion. So, dun lang po sila dapat. They should not be roaming around the voting uh, or the classroom, no? And uh, talk and uh, mingle with other voters. Second, there shall be no overcrowding of voters. Okay, so how's this? Um, uh, this one, uh, this is a pre-pandemic uh, picture. No po, no? So, um, overcrowding of voters and disorderly behavior inside the polling place. Okay. So, dito po, um, as you can see in the picture, no? Uh, pinagkakaguluhan yung isang botante dito na nagpa, uh, nagpapasok ng kanyang... Uh, uh, balot doon sa piko uh, sa BCM no so uh, bawal po yan hindi po pwede po yan ganyan especially so uh, now that we are in the pandemic we shall be observing other uh, uh, rules no specific rules no uh, for us to observe social distancing so bawal po ito likewise ballot box shall remain locked during voting no Except to make room for more ballots, because there are some instances, no, where in the ballot box uh, is uh, so filled up, or uh, the ballot cannot be um, fed, no, correctly, no, inside the BCM. Why? Because there's no more room for the ballots, no, to be dropped inside the ballot box. So, anong gagawin? So, to make room for more ballots, we shall remove, or the EB shall remove the BCM from top. Uh, from the top of the ballot box and shake the ballot box uh, to wobble the contents. So, kumbaga, um, i kakalugin po, no? So that uh, the ballots uh, will fall down. Okay. Uh, if still ballots cannot go through, no? So, the chairperson, 
take note, it's only the chairperson, okay, who is allowed, no, to open the ballot box and press down, no, the ballots, no, uh, bibigyan ng punya, okay, yung mga ballots inside the ballot box, no, bibigyan niyang gano para bumaba po yung mga balota without removing any, no? So, wala po. Malinis ang kamay niya pag angat niya ganun at wala po dumikit o sumama na balota. Okay. And then again, uh, if uh, they are satisfied, the chairperson satisfied, um, maluwag na po uli, um, the ballot box will be covered and sealed again. Okay. So, uh, we shall be uh, using, and we suggest, no, that uh, you shall be using holding areas. Ano po ba tong holding areas na to? So let's say um, uh, sa class sa, sa, sa isang school no o voting center no let's uh, allot uh, a, a, a holding area no uh, which is an adjacent room no uh, of the uh, polling uh, center the precinct uh, polling precinct no so it should be with ample space and accessible to wheelchair, wheelchair users okay and it shall serve as waiting area of voters in line. So, meron po tayong uh, uh, specific chairs po na allocated sa kanila and they will be served first come, first serve and giving of numbers is strictly prohibited. Bawal po ang mga number reservation po this time, no? Unlike sa registration, wherein uh, just to uh, impose order, no po, um, nagbibigay po ng uh, numbers during the registration but here, during voting, bawal po yan. No? We will not be doing that here. And the uh, voters in the holding area shall be assisted by the EB support staff. Okay. So this is uh, how uh, the holding area should look like. No? So ito po yung floor plan natin. So if the room no, uh, has two doors, okay, one should be designated as the entrance and that the second door shall be the exit. No? So uh, this is the most ideal uh, setup, no? considering... Um, we are observing uh, social distancing. No? Ayaw nating nagkakasalubong o nagkakadikit-dikit ang tao. So in the holding area, kung malaki po ang classroom, okay, we can uh, set up uh, a lot, at least 20 seats no? uh, uh, for the uh, people uh, or voters no? who will be coming inside the holding area. Okay. So dito rin din po, no? um, yung ating pong mga members ng vulnerable sector, especially the PWD and the senior citizens na po, um, uh, kasi hindi naman po agad-agad ay pupunta when they come uh, or appear before the uh, EBs, no? Um, and uh, the EBs are already at entertaining no? Uh, certain regular voters, no? Hindi naman po pwedeng, o, oh, teka muna, tabi ka muna dyan, sila muna, no? So, uh, para magkaroon lang po ng order, no? Um, the, 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 the members of the vulnerable sector uh, shall likewise be uh, seated here or will be allowed to be seated here, no? Kung dumating po sila. And then, uh, after no regular voter, they can be called, no? Tatawagin na po sila para they will be uh, given priority, no? Para po uh, to cast their votes. Okay. Now, uh, if we have um, uh, PWDs with uh, mga uh, nag a sa kanila o mga caregivers, no po? Uh, the caregiver shall likewise be given a uh, priority na din po. Pwede na po rin silang sumay, sumabay no? uh, doon sa kanila pong uh, kasamang uh, PWD na ina-assist nila no? para mag-cast ng votes. Kasi it would be impractical if we will only allow the, uh, the PWD no? na mauna tapos yung kanyang caregiver or yung kasama niya no? nandun pa sa dulo ng linya no? uh, mag-aantay. So it will defeat the purpose. No? So, uh, we shall allow uh, the uh, yung baga, yung kasama po ng ating uh, care uh, no ng ating PWD no uh, bawa yung tutulak po ng wheelchair no to cast the votes together with the uh, um, PWD so yon so after po noon again we will now call uh, a regular voter so alternate no po alternate so until such time na meron na naman po ulit tayong members from the vulnerable sector who will be coming and who will be uh, casting their votes no so uh, we will uh, accommodate them again no unahin natin sila uli no they papasigitin natin sila kasi meron pong express lane no remember we have express lane for them so sila na naman po uli and then thereafter regular voter po uli okay so they will be served alternately but then with priority okay with uh, the uh, members of the vulnerable sector so uh 
the the, the seating arrangement no po uh, should observe at least uh, one meter apart no Ayan, para to comply with the um, minimum health standards or protocol no po. so um, who are the people or persons allowed inside the polling place under section 63 only the following persons shall be allowed inside the polling place these are the members of the EB and their support staff. Watchers, okay, uh, who shall be staying only on their designated uh, space. Representatives of the commission, the DESO, technical support staff, the EAPP support staff, voters casting their votes and their assistors, if any. Voters waiting for their turn to cast their votes. Um, jail guards or uh, prison escorts. Okay, uh, escorting PDL voters and uh, other persons who may be specifically authorized by the commission. Who are not allowed inside the polling place. So, kung merong pwede, meron din pong hindi pwede na nasa loob ng polling place. Mind you, polling place po ang sinasabi dito na polling center. Okay, polling place. Officers or members of the PNPAFP, any peace officer, or extra legal police uh, uh, officer, member of uh, a extra legal police agency. Sorry for that. Special reaction strike forces, members of the CAFGU or the civilian armed force geographical units, the barangay tanod, security guards, special policemen, barangay and SK officials, and uh, uh, all other kinds of armed or unarmed extra legal police forces so they are not allowed inside the polling place but to stay away no 50 meters from the uh, 50 meter radius actually from the polling place but then no if they will be coming in to vote of course they will be allowed uh, no to, to come inside the polling place to cast their votes no thereafter they are expected to leave the premises likewise no uh, part of the prohibition is those persons who carry firearms or deadly weapons. No, bawal po ito inside the polling place. But we have uh, exception to this rule. Uh, na mention po natin kanina, no, yung mga jail pers uh, jail or prison escorts or guards. No po, if they will be securing the PDL voter who got uh, an authorization, no, uh, from the court, no. They will be casting their votes in uh, in the polling uh, precinct, no? their designated polling precinct. Uh, their jail guards, of course, who bears uh, firearms, will be allowed inside the polling place. Okay. However, after the PDL voter uh, have casted his votes, uh, his vote, no, they will be uh, asked to leave the room at once. Okay, and uh, included in the exception are those expressly authorized by the commission no people uh, who bears firearms shall uh, enter the polling place okay what if uh, there are people who are disruptive or unruly inside the polling place how should the eb handle this situation uh, if uh, there are persons who refuse to obey the lawful orders of the eb or conduct themselves in a disorderly manner so as to interrupt the proceedings of the EB, the EB may issue a written order directing any peace officer to take such person into custody until the adjournment of the proceedings. But such order shall not be executed as to prevent such person from voting. So let's say, for example, meron po doong uh, magulo na botante, no? Na nandun pa lang sa linya o nag nagkaroon ng commotion at siya ang pinagsimulan ng gulo, pwede pong uh, gumawa ng sulat ang EB. No? Uh, I-address po yan doon sa mga police officers that are uh, stationed outside uh, the, the school or the voting center. No? They can be asked to come in. Okay? But if in case there are no peace officer no? uh, in the vicinity, the written order may be addressed to any competent or able person, no, as deputized by the EB, okay, and uh, they can be uh, asked, no, to take the person away 
no from the polling place no so again kung wala pong peace officer doon sa sa vicinity ng inyong uh, polling place or polling center no uh, you as EB can uh, designate or yeah or deputize any competent or able body person no to bring out oh, that person na, na, na unruly or na nanggugulo doon no uh, ilabas po siya doon sa inyong polling place pwede po yon and uh, in all instances this should be form uh, part no of your minutes ilalagay niyo po yan sa minutes niyo ano ang itsura ng written order na yan so we have here an example so ito po yung usually no uh, ang ginagamit na uh, sulat no para mabilis no may nangyayari ng commotion inside your uh, classroom or your polling place and then you as EB is taking time no is you find it hard to compose the letter no to ask the uh, the, the police officer no to come in your polling place so eto na po meron na po tayong form no this will be distributed to you uh, by your election officer so dito nakalagay please direct uh, an officer to remove or take into custody no kung sino man yon uh, that person who refused lawful order. So, nandiyan ang buyan. Okay? So, it should be signed by the three of you. No? The chairperson, the poll clerk, and the third member. So, what are the prohibited acts of voters? Okay. So, uh, it is prohibited for voter to bring out ballots or ballot secrecy folder or the marking pen that they use, no? Uh, from the uh, polling place or the polling precinct. Tawar po nila ilabas yun. They are prohibited to speak with anyone under other than the EBs while inside the polling place. They are prohibited to prepare the voter's ballot without using the ballot secrecy folder or to exhibit its content. Okay, so here in our picture, no, as you can see, we have here uh, an old lady, no, uh, tinaas niya ang kanyang balota. Well, presumably, no po, uh, nahihirapan siya na basahin ang kanyang uh, balot, no? But then, dapat po yan, palaging naka-enclose yan sa balot secrecy folder. Hindi po po pwede pong ganyan, ang itsura. No po? So, uh, kailangan po na uh, nasa loob po palagi ng balot secrecy folder. Okay. Oops. We go back. And then, uh, filling out of voters' ballot accompanied by another except in the case of a vote uh, of voting by a sister. So, kung hindi po siya ang declared a sister ng, uh, ng botante na nangangailangan ng uh, assistance para mag-fill up na kanyang balota, no? hindi po dapat uh, nakikialam sa balota po ng iba. Erase any printing from the ballot or put any distinguishing mark on the ballots no? um, to, to put any uh, marks no on the ballot no uh, maglagay kayo ng star maglagay kayo mag drawing kayo ng kahit ano bawal po yun on okay use of capturing devices such as camera cellular phones or any other device no po na you can use to copy the content of your ballots no bawal po yan why because this is a, a gimmick or a strategy no para po gamitin sa vote buying bawal po yan no so kung na mong picture yung balota mo labas ka dito babayaran kita yun ang sasabihin po ng vote buyer doon sa kanya so that is prohibited intentionally tear or deface the ballot sirain po natin ang balota bawal po yan no or disrupt or attempt to disrupt the normal normal operations of the BCM hindi po natin dapat pinapakialaman ng BCM dapat lang po nagpipid lang po tayo ng ballot po doon hindi po tayo dumudutot doon o nagpipindot o po ano man ang gagawin okay so preparation of ballot by an assistor na mention ko po yan no so no voter no voter shall be allowed to vote as an illiterate PWD uh, or senior citizen unless it is indicated in the EDCBL or if not indicated as PWD, the disability is readily apparent. Okay. So, kung hindi po indicated doon sa EDCBL, no, that you are a person with disability or a senior citizen, no, you will not be allowed to have an assistor. Okay. But then, sabi nga natin, no, kung obvious naman at nakikita naman po ninyo as EB, yung tao kung nasa harap ninyo uh, who want to cast their votes, no, eh, uh, putol na po yung kamay, eh, kasabihin nyo, eh, hindi nakasulat sa EDCBL, hindi ka PWT, hindi ka pwedeng ano, 
po. Pabubutuhin po natin yun. Kasi uh, it's very apparent, it's very obvious no, po, that uh, that person needs an assistance no, to fill out his ballot. So voter may be assisted in the preparation of the ballot in the following order. No? So sino po ang pwedeng maging assistor? Relatives within the full, uh, fourth civil degree of consanguinity or affinity. So sino po ito? Ito yung mga hanggang first casting. Okay. So by by blood or by affinity, pwede po ang uh, first casting in law. Ayun, hangga doon po. So um, ang nanay, ang tatay, ang kuya, no? Ang pinsang buo, ang juhin, pwede po mag-assist. Okay. Ang lolo, no? Pwedeng mag-assist o pwedeng i-assist. Persons of his confidence who belongs to the same household as as that of the voter. So let's say for example, ah uh, Meron pong ibang taong nakatira po doon sa lugar ninyo, no? Excuse me, sa bahay po ninyo, pwede po silang mag-assist sa inyo. Like say for example, yung caregiver po ng PWD, pwede po silang mag-assist doon sa ating po uh, persons with disability. Okay. And any member of the EB. So, you as EB, you have uh, uh, the chance, no, to assist anybody, no? Uh, no, not only, not anybody. Uh, to assist an illiterate, a PWD, or senior citizen, no? Uh, to be their assistor, no po, in filling up their ballots, okay? But in all cases, no, the EB member shall ensure that the contents of the ballot are not displayed during its feeding into the BCM, okay? So, dapat nakatakip pa rin po ang ating uh, ballot secrecy folder. Nasa loob pa din po siya pa Pilipin. We'll show that to you later. Preparation of ballots by an assistor. Okay, so anong gagawin? The poll clerk shall verify from the illiterates, the PWDs or senior citizen, whether said voter have authorized a person to help them cast their votes. So the persons assisting the illiterates, the PWDs or the senior citizen shall prepare in their presence the ballot using a ballot secrecy folder, okay, and bind themselves in writing and under oath to fill out the ballot strictly in accordance with the instructions of the voter and not to reveal its content. Okay. So, dapat, na po, ako ano lang yung sasabihin, well, uh, look out na rin po yan. No? It's between the assistor and the voter. No? So, kung ano lang ang dapat na gusto na iboto noong uh, illiterate, yun lang po dapat na isusulat din noong assistor. Well, it's just between the two of them. Di po na, well, we, we cannot uh, verify that kung ganun na nga po talaga nangyayari. But dapat ganun po, no? Okay, kung ano lang yung gustong iboto. Okay. Next, um, this, no? Um, yung uh, instance ng merong assistor, okay? Uh, it should be reflected in the minutes. Okay, in the minutes of the uh, proceedings of the EBs. And all persons assisting must be of voted, voting age. Okay, please be reminded, uh, our members of the electoral board, okay, may assist an illiterate uh, persons with disability or senior citizen more than three times. Pwede po kayo more than three times na mag-assist po doon. Okay? So, but then here in the picture na po, hindi po yan bumoboto. Uh, Nagpaparehistro po yan. Okay. So we have here prohibition against premature announcement of voting. You are prohibited as electoral board members to announce okay, whether a certain voter has already voted or not, the number of voters who have already voted or failed to vote so far, or any other facts tending to show the state of polls. Okay. So let's say, for example, nagtanong ang ating pong, um, watcher, no? ilan na po yung bumoto? Bumoto na po ba si ano? Oh, ganon. Bawal po, no? Uh, we should not, uh, as EB, you should, you should not be answering that, no? Bawal po. Uh, watcher sila, look out nila yan. Alam nila dapat po kung sino nandoon, no? O sino na ang nakaboto. So, as EBs, you are uh, prohibited to make uh, this uh, premature announcements. Members of EB shall not make any statement at any time, okay, except as a witness in court or body as to how many persons voted. So, bawal po yan. Now, let's go to the procedures for voting, counting, and transmission. This is under Article 8 of the same resolution, 10727. Pre uh, preliminaries of voting, section under Section 73. Okay? So, the EBs, no? 
should be there at their po designated polling place not later than 5 a.m. So, dapat nandun na po kayo, not later than 5 a.m. on election day. You should ensure that the BCM box and the ballot box are inside the polling place. So, nandun na po. No? Nag-aantay na sa inyo. O, dapat nandun na. No? Na bago kayo magsimula. Na, bakit kayo pinapupunta na maaga? Para po iset up ninyo yung polling place na gagamitin ninyo. No? So, you have to set it up. So, that's why you are asked to be there. Uh, at least before 5 a.m. Remember, the start of voting or polling will be uh, 6 in the morning, no? So as early as 6, maaaring may dumating na po sa inyong mga tao para bumot. So how do you set up your polling place, no? So you should post your PCBL, okay? So post uh, uh, your PCBL near or at the door of the polling place with pages or sheets spread out. No? So, dito po sa picture, makikita po natin, no? nakakalat page per page, sheet per sheet, no? nakadikit doon sa pader. No po. Hindi po katulad ng dati na ginagawa natin na isang tumpok na sinaka-file no? o naka-fastener siyang ganyan. Na, no? Tapos nakadikit siya sa pader na ganyan, tapos isa isang binubuklat na ganyan ng mga tao. No? Um, uh, we should not be doing that at this time. Why? Kasi po, pandemic, iniiwasan po natin, nagkukumpul-kumpulan po ang mga tao. No? So, uh, you, that's the reason why you're asked to post the PCBL. No? Uh, spread it no? uh, in, in the walls of, uh, of the outside your, your classroom. Okay. And, uh, no, um, you should be uh, installing plastic barriers, no? between you and the voters of course that is for your safety we are now in the new normal no so a mindset po natin should be anybody or even me as ev no can be a uh, virus covid virus carrier no so we should be protecting one another no? so yung in plastic barrier na yan is not uh, uh, it's not only for you but also likewise for the voters no po yan. Uh, for uh, for your mutual protection. Okay? So, kailangan merong uh, plastic barriers. Now, um, as you set up your polling place, you should establish a hand sanitation station. Okay? So, it should uh, advise, no, it, uh, na it, it will be placed no, uh, near the door or near the entrance and exit of your polling place. No? You will be provided with uh, your COVID allowance, no? Meron po yan. And uh, you shall post a clear and visible sign at the door of the polling place declaring, no, that persons that properly wearing a face mask and face shield shall not be allowed inside the polling place. So, yan po yung part ng mga restrictions po natin ngayon. Okay? So, sabi ko nga, our mindset should always be anybody could be a COVID carrier at this time. Especially uh, as EBs, no, po, um, no uh, on election day, no, you will be dealing with lots of people. No? Maximum of 800 no? if your uh, precinct is uh, uh, in full capacity. No? So, uh, we shall be strictly observing the health protocols no, po, for our mutual protection. So, yeah. So, um, under the rules, no po, under the uh, resolution, kasama pa rin po yung face shield. Uh, the, uh, we will be uh, making uh, um, info dissemination about this, no po, para po ma -ano natin sila, malaman pa rin po ng mga botante natin yan. Okay. Now, uh, ano po dapat ang itsura ng inyong polling place, no? So, we have here a polling place layout plan. So, here, um, if you if you're polling uh, if your classroom no has two doors no o meron pong the, the long pintuan you you designate it as the entrance and the other one as your exit pag wala naman po at isa lang po ang inyong pintuan doon sa inyong classroom hatiin po natin yung isang side ipapapasok yung kabila ipapas pa exit no po lagyan natin ng konting guide po doon no uh, sana malaki yung pintuan niyo para mahati otherwise uh, huwag naman exactly doon sa pinto ninyo ilalagay yung harang pero konti ditong atras no po, para at least makita lang nila na hindi pwedeng pumasok at o dumaan kahit sa ang part dyan kung hindi man sila palabas, kung hindi man sila papasok. 
Okay, so here we have here the table no, of the EBs. Uh, the first uh, member or the first person that the voters will be encountering will be the poll clerk. The poll clerk will be in charge with the EDCBL. So the, the after the voter has verified his name, no, doon sa PCBL, no, uh, na, na, nandoon ng pangalan niya, dito siya boboto, pupunta siya dito ngayon sa poll clerk and uh, to ask it and uh, say na boboto po siya. And uh, the, the poll clerk will check, okay, will check on the, uh, on the EDCBL if that particular voter is truly um, re, um, listed or uh, included uh, doon sa list ng uh, mga botante for that particular precinct. Okay. So, if uh, the poll clerk has verified this, no? So, may, may, meron po kayong, siyempre sa EDCBL, no? Uh, titignan nyo yung picture, titignan nyo yung tsura nung nasa harap ninyo, no? Kung nagmamatch sila, kung sila man yun, then you ask them to sign, okay? To place their fingerprint, okay? After which, pupunta na siya dito sa chairperson. The chairperson is the only one allowed, no? To issue ballots, okay? To release ballots sa ating pong mga uh, botante. So, bibigay ni chairperson ang uh, kanyang balo, uh, balota ng uh, botante inside the ballot secrecy folder and uh, one marking pen. So, dito po ang voting area natin, no? We have a designated voting area. So, yung mga chairs that will be used should be spaced out, no? Uh, uh, at least one meter away, no? O one meter apart from each other. So, ayan. So, um, it depends on the size oh, uh, of your room, no? If you can accommodate uh, more than 10, 15, why not, no? So, arrange uh, the, the, the chairs no, in such a manner that you will be uh, implementing or observing uh, physical distancing. Okay, and then um, after the voter has casted their votes, uh, I mean, uh, shaded the, the ballots, no po, uh, they will be asked to proceed uh, uh, on the VCM for them to feed the ballots inside the, the VCM. Um, the, the third member no, will be there no, to assist the, uh, uh, the, the voter. Okay, so if you feed po niya yung kanyang uh, balota po doon sa BCM. And after that, susurrender niya yung uh, uh, marking pen and the ballot secrecy folder. No? And then, uh, the, that person will be uh, ink. Okay? With indelible ink, lalagyan po siya indelible ink, it will be asked to leave the place. So, yun. Now, please be mindful that you have to designate uh, with the, uh, ano, um, area no for the vulnerable sectors no so you should designate at least five seats exclusively for pwd senior citizen and heavily pregnant women or voters no po uh, dito sa area ng voting area okay so kasama po yan doon sa provisions po natin okay for the preliminaries of voting that is under section 73 you should show to the watchers and the public present that the vcm box is sealed no so, dapat yung VCM uh, box niyo na ginamit niyo uh, doon sa final testing and sealing, no? Kung paano niyo sila iniwan after the final testing and sealing, ganun din po dapat ang itsura niyan, no? Uh, bago niyo siya buksan o gamitin. Okay. So, dapat the VCM box should be sealed. Okay. And then, the ballot box should be empty. No? You have to show to the public, no? That the ballot box is indeed empty. So, wala po siya dapat laman. Okay? And then thereafter, you will lock it, uh, no? With the seals provided to you. Okay. And then, uh, there is a package, no? Yung official ballot box, uh, box, okay? Uh, official ballot box, no? Uh, na naglalaman ng mga gagamiting balota. Para dyan, particularly on your uh, precinct, no? Okay? So, it should be duly sealed. Hindi dapat siya nakabukas. Hindi po, um, um, please be reminded no, that uh, once you receive this uh, ballot box doon sa munisipyo, no po, um, kailangan, eh, yung, yung, yung official ballot box, no? okay. not, not this ballot box. Okay? The ballot box containing the official ballots, the bot, yeah. okay. so should be sealed nung tinanggap po ninyo doon. 
Okay? At pagbalik, hindi nyo po siya dapat bubuksan. At any time from the municipal uh, building or municipal hall up to your uh, the, the, the time that you reach you know, the polling center, the polling place. No? So it should be sealed. You will only open that uh, if you started your proceedings. Okay? And uh, you should likewise take note that no? in the minutes. Okay? So ganyan po ang gagawin natin. For precinct clustered with uh, PBL voters and with a special polling place in accordance with resolution numbers 9371 and 10482, the EB of the said regular polling places shall be using the EDCBL for the PBL. Okay. So you will annotate the PBL's name. Uh, these are persons deprived of liberty. Ito po yung mga registered voter natin na inmates. Okay. So, annotate the PDL's name in the EDCBL with the term PD voters. Okay. So, ilan po ilalagay natin doon. Next, affix their initials beside, uh, you will affix your initials beside the annotation. No? Just to uh, certify na kayo po ang gumawa noon ng annotation na yon. Then, you shall enter in the minutes the number of PDL and the fact that their names were annotated with PDL voters. Okay. And then, in the presence of the SEBPDL support staff, you segregate the ballots intended for the PDL and insert the same in a folder. So we have the special EBs, no? Para po, uh, sila po yung pupunta doon sa, sa jail, no? Para magpaboto po, no? So yung ballots intended for this PDL, you will put this inside an envelope. You will seal it, okay? So yun, para doon po uh, i- uh, dadali po nila sa, sa jail at doon po pagbubutongin yung mga uh, inmates, registered inmates. So place the folder inside the envelope, close and seal. Uh, the same using a paper seal uh, as provided to you. Okay. And uh, you will give it to the uh, SEB PDL support staff. And then the SEB uh, PDL shall affix their initials on the paper seal. So as they sealed it, no? So on the flap, no no on paper seal na ginamit no they will sign it no na to prove na hindi siya pa tampered o hindi siya na nabuksan pa turn over the envelopes uh, containing the PDL ballots to the SEB PDL support staff okay the uh, SEB PDL shall enter um into the minutes the name of the SEB PDL support staff the number of paper seal of the envelope and the time the ballots were picked the SEBPDL shall require the EBPDL support staff to sign uh, the entry and uh, thereafter, the SEBPDL support staff escorted by a uniform PNP uh, officer or a BJMP uh, personnel no? um, shall immediately deliver the ballots to the SPP. Okay, so dadalim po yan sa, sa kung saan po yung original na presinto sila naka uh, registro o naka-include. Okay, so yun. So, uh, preliminaries before uh, voting. Okay, so ano pong gagawin natin? So, you have your sealed BCM box. You will open the BCM box. Okay? So, um, you, you will check the following inside the BCM box. So, dapat nandun yung BCM. Yung power cord of the BCM, no? And uh, battery cable. Okay, the main SD and backup SD cards already installed. Usually this one should be inside, no? Na, the, uh, the BCM. Kasi ginamit na yan nung nag-FTS. So, nandoon na yan sa loob. Remaining rolls of thermal paper inside the BCM box. Personal identification pins, no? Uh, personal identification numbers or pins for operating the BCM and the I buttons and three pins for receiver zero week. Okay. So dito po sa pin na to, no, nandiyan sa papers po yan, nandiyan yung mga pins na gagamitin ng EBs. Again, likewise inside the BCM uh, box, you should find the checklist, no, of the contents of the BCM, the USB modem with SIM card and one contingency SIM card. Four cleaning sheets, ito po yung cleaning sheets natin, ito yung USB modem natin, and 20 marking pens na gagamitin. 
para sa pagboto. And uh, you shall have one paper seal for BCM box to be used at the end of election day. This is to seal again the BCM box after the voting. Okay. You shall retrieve the I buttons no, and sec uh, security pins from the BCM box and distribute the same am among yourselves. No? Yung zero pins po, itago nyo na po yan sa BCM box. Baka po magamit ninyo, marisiro po nyo yan, mabura lahat po yung mga napo mga votes casted na po o kaya yung mga binilang ng uh, BCM. So, itago nyo na po siya, ibalik nyo po siya sa BCM box. Retrieve from the BCM box, uh, retrieve the BCM from its box. Okay, ito po yun, nilabas natin. And show to the public that the slots labeled A and B containing the main SD and back of SD card respectively are sealed. So, here, no, as you can see, the slots a, this, ito po yung uh, slots ng uh, ating pong SD cards, no? So, A, B, naka-seal po siya, okay? You've done this, no, during the FTS. So, dapat din po, sarado pa rin po yan pag kinuha ninyo yan ulit sa BCM box uh, when you use it on election day. And you shall perform the BCM operations in accordance with the BCM manual. Okay. So, manner of obtaining ballots, No? So, paano po? So, the voter shall, upon entering the voting center, proceed with the voter's assistance desk. Na-mention na po kanina yan, na meron tayong voter's assistance desk. Okay? So, these are manned, no? Uh, by the PPCRB or any uh, citizen arm, no? Assigned, no? Uh, to, uh, or designated to man the voter's assistance desk. Okay? They have... You, the, the voter can secure their precinct and sequence number and uh, assign clustered precinct. And likewise, um, they will be given directions no, as to where the particular rooms, no, yung polling uh, place po nila, saan matatagpuan. So, they will be led uh, or given directions by the people manning the uh, voter's assistance desk. Next, uh, they will, uh, after... Uh, uh, securing this info, so you present number, sequence number, you clustered precinct, no? Uh, voters shall proceed to the voter, uh, to the assigned clustered precinct and approach any member of the EVs or its support staff and state their names, precinct number and sequence number, and the poll clerk, pagdating po na yan doon sa, uh, sa polling uh, precinct or polling place, no? the poll clerk shall verify if the name of the voter is in the EDCBL. So we mentioned that a while ago, no? diniscuss natin yan. If the name of the voter is not in the EDCBL, he shall not be allowed to vote and ask to be uh, uh, to leave the polling place. No po? So sorry po sa kanila, palalabasin po natin sila, hindi natin sila po putohin. Okay. Likewise, the poll clerk shall, okay, if in case nandoon yung pangalan ng botante in the um, EDCBL, okay, anong gagawin? If the voter's name is found, you check the fingernails of any indelible ink stain, okay? So, kung meron na po siyang indelible ink stain, of course, if stained, uh, the voter will not be allowed to vote, no? He will be asked to leave the polling place, okay? And you should tell him, eh, hindi ka na po pwedeng bumoto, nakaboto ka na po pala, mayroon ng marka ng indelible ink in yung dasag daliri. So, you will inform him of the reason no, kung bakit uh, hindi nyo na siya pwedeng pabutohin. This fact, including the name of the precinct of the voter, shall be recorded in the polling uh, by the poll clerk in the minutes of your uh, proceedings. Okay. If the fingernail is not stained, malinis siya, no? and uh, you have established the identity of the voter through the following. Yung voter's photograph and specimen signature in the CBL. Okay. So, makikita ninyo yung kanyang uh, picture kung siya nga ba yun, nandoon. And papipirmahin niyo po siya sa EDCB kung pareho ng pirma. So, in case the identity of the voter cannot be determined with certainty in the EDCBL, the EB may require the voter to present any valid identification document. So in this case, no, pwede po niyo silang hingan uh, ng uh, ID, no, o kahit ano pong dalan nila that they can that can be used to uh, ascertain their uh, identi uh, identity. Okay, he, but then, no, we should not be um, accepting barangay certificate or cedulas, community tax certificate. These are not valid. Uh, identification document. Okay? 
So in the absence of any proof of identity, however, any member of the EB or any registered voter of the precinct or clustered precinct okay, may identify under oath. Okay? Take note, under oath. And such facts shall be reflected in the minutes. Okay. So kung kilala nyo naman po yung taong nasa harapan ninyo at gustong bumoto, no? kilala nyo na siya talaga yung kanyang sinasabing pangalan niya, pwede nyo po siyang pabotohin. But then, no, you should uh, include this no, in your minutes after no, uh, the person have uh, taken put na siya. Okay? So ganun po. Kayo or any other registered voter or even the watchers na po, pwede din po nilang patutuhanan that, uh, na yung taong yun na nasa harap ninyo ay eh, yung nga po talaga siya na butanting nakasulat doon sa inyong EDCBL na hawak. Okay. Manner of obtaining ballots. So the poll clerk shall, if satisfied with the voter's identity, shall be distinctly announced in a loud voice. The voter's name enough to be heard throughout the polling place. So, let's say, for example, si Juan de la Cruz po, boboto. So, sabi, banggitin niyo lang ulit din yung pangalan niya. Ikaw, si Juan de la Cruz. Okay. So, it should be loud enough, no, that uh, the attention of the uh, the watchers especially, no, um, um, should should hear, no, uh, the, the the announcement. Uh, para if in case, no, may challenge siya uh, on the identity of that person, o pwede po niyang gawin. So if not satisfied, the voter shall be asked to leave the polling place after informing him or her reason thereof. No, kung hindi siya ang um, botante nandoon. Okay. If you are not satisfied, no, na siya talaga yon. Okay. Pa pa alisin natin. If the voter is not challenged or having been challenged, the question has been decided in his or her favor. You require the voter to sign the EDCBN. Okay. In case the illiterate uh, voter or PWD cannot sign. No, requires said voter to affix their thumb marks in the EDCBF. So, iba po yun na hindi po yung assistor ang mag, uh, magsasign para sa kanya sa EDCBL, ha? No po? Siya, they, they can affix their thumb marks or thumb prints, no? Okay, for fingerprint, for that matter, kung wala po siyang thumb, no? So, yun. Uh, pwede pong gawin niya doon. Kung di niya kayang pumirma doon sa EDCBF. Okay. Hindi po yung assistor, ha? <coughs> Excuse me? Okay, manner of obtaining ballots. The voter shall be directed, no, uh, by the chairperson. Uh, the, the the voter shall be directed to the chairperson who shall, no, be issuing the ballots. No, prior to that, kailangan ni authenticate ng chairperson yung ballot. How? By affixing his or her signature at the designated portion of the uh, ballot. Usually, eto puyo on eh, yan. Jan jan po pipir may yung ating pong chairperson, no. Mind you, no failure of the chairperson to authenticate, no shall uh, not invalidate the ballot, but will constitute an election offense. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and <coughs> excuse me. You show to the voter that the ballot given. No, it's not torn or smudged or has not yet been filled out. So the chairperson, no, papakita niya, o, oh, balota mo, ha? Malinis yan. Walang sira, walang punit. Okay. And uh, the ballot, no, shall be placed inside the ballot secrecy folder. And the ballot secrecy folder containing the ballot and the marking pens, no, will be given to the voter with instruction na it should be kept clean and free from unnecessary markings except yung kanyang shadings, no? para doon sa gusto niyang iboto. Okay? Kaya pinagbabawal po natin na magdala sila ng pagkain, bawal po ang kumain, no? Doon sa loob ng uh, polling place. And we shall instruct the voter on how to fill out the ballots properly, that is by shading, no? Fully shading the ballot and direct the voter to fill out the ballot in the designated voting area. Okay. Only the chairperson shall issue the official ballots. Okay? So, siya lang po. Hindi po pwede si uh, Paul, clerk, Paul Clerk, hindi pwede si third member, si chairperson lang po. And uh, uh, yung pag-issue uh, po ng ballot should be one at a time. Okay? Hindi pwede po, oh, dalawa, balota sa'yo na pag nagkamali ka, yung isa na uli gamitin mo. Hindi po pwede ganun. Okay? 
So, we now proceed with the manner of voting. So, the voter shall, using a ballot secrecy folder and the marking pen provided by the commission, accomplish the ballot by fully shading the oval appearing before the names of the candidates, no? Or the organization, the party list system na kanyang gustong iboto. So, ganito po ang ideal, no? Na pagboto. So, nakatago po doon sa uh, likod ng ballot secrecy folder yung kanya pong balota, no? Doon po sa loob ng ballot secrecy folder, nakapost po doon, no? Uh, yung pangalan o listahan ng kandidatong kanilang ipoboto usually that's the ideal setup no po and then shade po nila no heavily shaded yung uh, uh, the oval no o yung yung hugis hugis itlog sa tabi ng pangalan ng kandidato na gusto nilang iboto after accomplishing the ballot no uh, the voter shall feed the ballots no to the VCM Dapat po nakatago pa rin yung uh, ballot nandoon sa loob ng ballot secrecy folder. So as you can see here, no? So naka-face mask, naka um, face shield ang ating pong EB, no? Tapos ang ating botante ganun din, magkalayo po sila, no? Hindi po sila naga uh, wala pong touching, no? And uh, ina-assist lang po siya ng third member para po i-feed yung kanyang ballot doon without uh, seeing kung sino po yung kanyang binoto. Okay. So, merong distance po dyan. After this, no, kaya isosoli po o iiwan ng ating pong botante. The, the voter shall leave, no, or surrender uh, the ballot secrecy folder and the marking pens, no, to the uh, third member. Okay. Um, uh, tapos, uh, after casting the ballot, mag, uh, the BB pot, no, will be, uh, uh, issued by the BCM, no? So what's this VVPAT? This is the Voter Verifiable Paper Audit Trail. Okay, so uh, the 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 voter will be given time, no, to look at the uh, VVPAT, no, to check kung yam po ang kanyang uh, binoto. Okay, and after that, you can see here, meron po dito ng receptacle o mekahon dito yung VVPAT na yon. It bululusot po uli ni voter dito. So, no, ilalagay po niya dyan. Okay. So, ito yun, no? Bibipat. The EB third member shall position and style beside the BCM without being able to view the screen but near enough to be able to perform the following. Okay. Monitor the BCM screen to, to ensure that the ballot is successfully accepted and the Bibipat is printed. Cut the end of the Bibipat without looking at the contents thereof. No? So, may scissor pong baon. Dapat si third, uh, per, uh, third member sa tabi po noong ano, ng BCM. So, gugupitin po niya yun, no You fold the BB fat, uh, BB, BB fat, okay? Ipofold niyo po yun, uh, so as na hindi niyo nakikita yung contents na, no? bibigay niyo po doon sa voter para babasahin niya, i-review niya yun for verification. And thereafter, no po, uh, as I mentioned, no? The VV pad will be deposited in the receptacle designated for the purpose, no? So, doon niya ilalagay. Usually, uh, ang ginagamit po natin na uh, VV pad receptacle is the empty box containing the ballot, official ballot. So, ito po yung black box na uh, pinaglalagyan po ng official ballots, no? So, yun, yun ang ginagamit natin na VV pad receptacle. Sisil po natin yun, okay? So, ganun ang mangyayari. So, ito po yung itsura ng BB pad. Kalagay dyan kung sino yung binoto niya for the particular positions. Governor, vice governor, uh, since meron tayong president, no? uh, ele election, uh, presidential election po tayo. So, uh, the president, vice president, all positions no? na uh, binotohan niya, na nakalagay po dyan kung sino po yung mga binoto niya doon. Okay. So, manner voting. Again, kung... Uh, the after after which no no nakita niya bibipat and everything yung ating pong third member will be the one to ink no yung finger ng ating pong uh, botante okay so apply indelible ink to the voter's right forefinger kung wala pong forefinger nail no uh, any other thing for uh, nails no meron okay yan and advise the voter to leave the polling place so 
Tingnan niyo po ah, dapat walang contact, no? You should not uh, be having contact with the third uh, with the voter, the third member and uh, the voter, no po. So in this case, nilagyan niya ng basahan sa pagitan ng kamay niya at yung voter, no, para wala nga namang contact, no? So sa kanya pinatakan. Pero eh, mas maganda po siguro, pag ganun yun na lang yung daliri ng ating pumbotante, sapsakan niyo patakan ng ink, no? Oh, yun. Pasalo nyo sa kanya, mayroon siyang basahan din doon, o kaya may tissue, pasalo nyo sa kanya kung ano man yung tutulog ang ink na hindi nyo na siya hinahawakan. Okay? Remember, we are in the new normal pandemic po ngayon. Okay. So, if there is an objection raised uh, by the voter uh, doon po sa VVPAT na kanya pong nireview, okay? So, ano gagawin? So, the chairperson shall, okay, you will direct the voter to affix his signature. No? at the back of the VVPAT. Tapos, you note in the minutes kung ano yung specific uh, objection niya. Let's say, for example, ay, hindi ito yung binoto ko, ibang lumabas na pangalan. Note nyo po yun doon sa inyong minutes. Okay? And then, the VVPAT will not be uh, placed inside the uh, receptacle, but then you will attach that in the minutes. Okay? So, the, uh, you attach the VVPAT, no? the contested VVPAT, to the minutes. No? Tapi for the ballot box. Okay? Dalawang minutes yan. Yung isa, uh, yung isa submit sa Manila, yung isa, iiwan sa ballot box. So, yung iiwan sa ballot box, dun yung i-attach yung BBPAT. The objection shall be raised before the BBPAT is dropped by the EB, third member in the BBPAT receptacle. Okay? So, dapat bago. So, kung meron siyang objection, dapat bago niya gagawin yun. Aba, gagawin niya yung objection niya bago niya ilulusot. O hindi pa niya na ilulusot yung BBPAT doon sa sa receptacle. Okay? So, filing of revolious uh, objections shall constitute an election offense. No? So, pag napat, dapat talagang ano ha, uh, totoo yung kanilang nire-raise na objection. No? Otherwise, kung mal, mapatunayan o oh, after investigation, no? Uh, na ginawa lang niya yun para lang mag-create ng issue. Okay? Uh, it, it is a punishable election offense. Okay? So, for this purpose, you, the EBs, uh, you are allowed to administer oath so that if the protest is frivolous or fals falsified or perjurious, no, uh, pwede po siyang asuhan. At the close of polls, the EB shall then place the VVPAT receptacle inside the ballot box. So, ito po isa sa mga laman ng ballot box ninyo. Okay? Yung pong uh, VVPAT receptacle, ilalagay din po ninyo yun doon sa loob ng ballot box. Um, meron pong separate module po dito about uh, what should be inside the ballot box at the end of uh, election day. No? So, that will be covered. Rejected ballots and procedures. So, let's say, no, there are instances talaga no, na the VCM will not be scanning or will be rejecting ballots. No? These are the three different cases. No? One is because merong misread ballot. Okay. We think, what is a misread ballot? Uh, this happens when a ballot has not been scanned properly no, by the VCM. And uh, in this case, uh, the EB, uh, usually it is the third member no, who is manning the VCM, will ask the voter to refeed the ballots four times. In different orientations, no, no. So, uh, let's say for example, eto po ang balota po natin, no. So inulusot po natin yan ng pagayyan, o kaya paganon, okay? O kaya paganon, no? O kaya paganon. Pwede pong ganon. But never pong paganon. So bukan yung po kung magkasya at akainin po ng BCM yon malamang sa hindi po, okay? So ganon po, no? Four times po gagawin yon, okay? So, likewise, meron din po tayong uh, rejection by the BCM because the ballot has been previously read. So, when a ballot with the same ballot ID numbers was already scanned, no? So, nabasa na po siya pala, no? O, ewan ko, paano siya nakalabas at nagamit, no? Nabasa na pala. Okay. O, may, minsan po kasi nangyayari yun, no? let's say, for example, pinid na ganun, no? Tapos bumalik yung balota, no? Lumabas uli. Uh, pag finig nyo po uli yun, hindi nyo na po babasahin yun dahil kasi na-scan na pala. Okay. So, anong gagawin doon? Hindi ilusot nyo na lang po siya uli doon sa ballot box. Merong invalid ballots, no? So, the third case is the invalid ballot. 
no why there is an invalid ballot one is because the ballot no given to the voter is not configured to the VCM no what do you mean by this so let's say for example ang ballot na naibigay ay para hindi ay hindi doon para sa presinto na yon so maaaring yung balota na binigay sa kanya eh instead na para dyan sa presinto, let's say, ng barangay uh, de la Rosa, okay, uh, yung pala, e, balota po yun para sa barangay San Simon. Okay? So, mali. Hindi siya nakakonfigure doon sa BCM na nandoon. So, invalid ballot po yun. Talagang hindi siya babasahin ng ating BCM. So, ano pong dapat gawin? The voter shall return the ballot to the chairperson who shall in turn check if the ballot ID of the rejected ballot corresponds to the class 3rd precinct number. Okay, so it's a check. Be-verify po ni chairperson if the ballot is um, truly uh, intended for that particular precinct. Okay? If it does not match, the chairman shall mark the ballot with the word rejected okay? and place the same inside the envelope for rejected ballots. So, the chairperson shall then issue the correct ballot to the voter. Kaya nga, doon, no, sa pag-open pa lang, sa pag bago, de, pagtanggap ninyo ng ballot, uh, the, the, the ballot box, oh, containing the official ballots, okay, yung black box, no, tingnan nyo yung label. No? If the label is for your clustered precinct, then accept it. If not, doon pa lang po sa nag issue no, sabihin na ninyo na hindi yan para po sa amin. Mali po yan, hindi po para sa clustered precinct namin. O, yun. So, okay. Pero meron naman din pong instance. No? There are some instances wherein um, the, the ballot box is correctly, uh, I mean, the, the ballot box uh, container, okay, is correctly labeled, okay, as your clustered precinct number. But then, when you go, to, when you open it, no, the first hour of uh, polling, no, and you find or discover that uh, there are some ballots, no, or there uh, or the whole of the ballots, no, in, inside that uh, ballot box container, ballot box, uh, ballot box, okay, uh, does not um, belong to your precinct, clustered precinct, no. So dun palang you raise the alarm, no, sabihin na po doon sa deso, uh, na simula palang ng botohan, eh, ganun na na discover na ninyo, okay. So, para ma magawan po ng paraan, makorek yung situation. Okay? So, kung lahat po yun, nakita ninyo, if all the ballots there, no, uh, belong to a different uh, clustered precinct, no, huwag nyo susulatan ng rejected lahat, no? Uh, I-report nyo lang po sa DESO no, na gano'n ang situation, no? I para hindi po may spoil yung ballot, sayang, no? Ibigay natin or baka naman po nagkapalit lang ng uh, pag-issue uh, ng mga balota sa inyo. O ang dapat na gagamit noon, eh, nasa kabilang classroom lang, o oh, edi sabihan nyo yung deso na ganito ang nangyari, i-report niyo po, o oh, di magpalit kayo ngayon ng, ng mga balots. No? So, ganun lang po. Pero kung para po intended sa ibang jurisdiction yun, no? uh, yan, may, mayroon po tayong contingency for that. Okay? So, closing of polls, counting of votes, and transmission of results, printing of reports, and shutting down the VCM. These are the procedures under Section 77. After the voters have cast their votes, the PDL and EAPP ballots, no, if any, are already uh, fed okay, per batch. The EB shall close the voting by performing the procedures laid down in the BCM technical manual. So you have already done this, no, sa inyong FTS. So alam niyo mag-closing, no, close closing of votes, no. So yan na. So after the you will uh, perform the procedure. So after the BCM is shut down, no, the EB shall, no, uh, you shut down the BCM after performing all the functions, ha. So uh, nag. Uh, print na generate ka na ng ERs no po nagtransmit ka no yung ganon so doon pa lang ang shutdown po niyan ha so you go through with the procedure so after that no you shut down the BCM now no you shall remove the main SD card from slot A take note ha slot A lang no colored black okay so this one on this side no so yan lang po ang uh, bubuksan Okay, tatanggalin nyo po yung main SD card and you will put that inside an envelope, no? 
specifically uh, designated for the particular purpose. That's envelope A, 18B. Okay? The EB shall also indicate on the envelope no, the clustered precinct number, the barangay or city and municipality and province. So you will label it properly. You will put your clustered precinct number, which barangay uh, you are in, and uh, the city or municipality and province. No? Yan po ang gagawin po ninyo. So the backup SD card shall not be removed from the VCM and the cover slot B shall remain black. Okay? So ito lang po ang bubuksan yung A tatanggalin ng SD card, no? Ilalagay sa envelope, lelebelan ng envelope and then um iiwanan po yung uh, laman ng uh, slot B, no? We will not open that, we will not take out the SD card. Usually po nagkakamali po ang ating pong uh, ibang mga EDs, no? sa taranta o nalilito, pareho pong binubuksan, parehong nilalabas. A lang po ah, tandaan natin. Okay? So, after the voters have cast their votes, the PDL and EAP ballots have uh, batch fed, have been batch fed, okay? And the VCM has been shut down, okay? Yung initialization report, precinct statistical report, and audit logs in the corresponding envelope, no? Uh, ilalagay po natin yon sa loob ng corresponding envelope po. A18-C to A18-E. So lahat po nung na-generate nating reports, may specific envelopes po yan. We disconnect the battery from the VCM machine, disconnect the battery cables, no? disconnect the power cable of the VCM machine from the electrical outlet, and disconnect the power cable from the VCM machine. Okay? So, unahin po muna natin, tanggalin yung nandun sa outlet para hindi tayo makuryente habang dinidismantle po natin yung iba pang mga nakakonek sa BCM natin. Okay. And you shall return the I button, the pins to the zip lock, no? You will place the battery inside the battery box. And you will place the BCM box and the power, uh, inside the BCM box, the power cord and the bat, uh, battery cables and close the BCM box with the ceiling sticker uh, provided for the purpose. So, babalik po natin lahat po uli yan doon sa loob po ng ating VCM box at isi-seal po natin lahat siya. Kasama po yung zip lock kung saan naroon ang i-button at yung mga pins natin. So, that's it. Turn job. We're through. So, yeah. as parting words, okay, we will leave this. Success, of course, when opportunity meets preparation. So, sa um, magandang pag-prepara uh, po natin o paghahanda natin, doon nakasalalay ang magiging tagumpay ng ating ginagawa. Okay? So, on behalf of Attorney uh, Jo uh, Sebeliano, we wish you good day. God bless. Thank you for listening. Thank you.